Hi guys, back again with something I never really did in a while. I'm gonna be doing this uh, tier list video. Um, I know what you're thinking. Robbie, it's been like a year. You haven't done one in like forever. I know, I know, this wasn't really a popular option on my channel. However, I decided I wanted to bring it back since I'm, since I have some opinion changes on some objects. And note, there possibly will be some changes with personality wise, and there possibly could be some spoilers ahead. So let's get things started. Um, Me Phone. Uh, to be honest, Me Phone is like a C tier to me. I don't know. I just not really interested in his character. He's sometimes mean, so it kind of brings down some points. I kind of didn't like um recently in uh last episode where he uh stole Cappy's folders and formed two new teams, and especially breaking up Silver Spoon and Candle, which I really love. Okay, light bulb. Um, light bulb. Easy A tier. I think she's a really nice character. And to be honest, she has a really good personality. Positive energy. I like like that type of character. She's funny in in some some parts, which is pretty good. And it's what what brings me there. Uh OJ. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a little bit of a higher ranking too. A tier as well. I think he's a cool character, and I think he has a lot in store with him, and to be honest. I think he's going to do well, even if he didn't win season three. I must say he was a cool character. Um, to be honest, I think Taco is definitely a lower tier for me. I'm gonna, This is my first F tier. Uh, not to be mentioned that she manipulated many for, many contestants. Plus she, plus she broke up Pickle x Taco, which I liked in some reason. And to be honest, I think... She's overall a bad character. She's, and like I said before, she's manipulative, which I don't really like. Okay, um, Pickle's an easy beat here. I know what you're thinking. This is a cold cuts guy. You made that original. Well, to be honest, Pickle's still a cool, cool character, but I don't think he's like really cool. Solid beat tier all the way because of a few reasons, but. But I also didn't like the f fact that he broke up with Daco. That's what the only thing I kind of bring down with him. Still a decent character, though. Um, okay, Box does nothing. No comment, because I don't really know how to rank this character. He just doesn't speak. And to be honest, he doesn't really do anything. And you know what? I'm going to change it right now. I'm going to put him D tier, because, eh, what's the point? All right, uh, Nickel... To be honest, I used to hate Nickel a lot, but but I'm gonna put him in C tier. He's doing better, and I must say, last last episode he was a little helpful. And to be honest, I know what you're thinking. Nickel is a bad character. You should rank him lower. I know, I know, but he's been changing, which is bringing me up a little bit. Okay, uh, baseball. Eh, I like him up. B tier. I like his athletic personality, and I know I came up with this, with like his dance move, baseball special. Love it, love that. And I must say, he's still an overall good character. I mean, baseball and Nickel were a good t team, and I know there's a ship, there's some ships with baseball and suitcase, which isn't too bad. But to be honest, I still think it's a, he's a decent character. Not my favorite though, but he's a good character. I'll put him around with Pickle with B tier. Okay. Knife is an easy S tier. I don't. One of my favorite characters in the show. Uh, to be honest, Knife has some cool personality, which I think is really awesome. I mean, tough guy looks. I mean, I. This is like one of the only tough guy characters I really like, but has a little bit of a gentle side, which is what I like to see him as an accelerator to excel as a character, becoming some something he to be a, a meaner character to a nicer one. That's that's what it brings me to S tier with that. Um, paper, paper. I also am gonna give. I'm gonna give him A tier. Uh, I like him. Not really like his evil phase, but but I still think his um still did an awesome job in in Adam and Sandy season one. Third place, not too bad. To be honest, I think he's gonna be a cool. He's an interesting character. I like his shy and like cautious personality, which is kind of cool because I like those. 
the personalities and characters that I usually do. Um, okay, Baloo is also an easy S tier. I really like Balloon a lot, so so no argument there. I felt bad for him in season two when he was trying to fix himself, which I wanted to really happen. But once like the suitcase thing came in, and when suitcase really cared about Balloon, that's what brought me up. He's also did amazing in season three as well. I must say he's making he's trying to make progress much easier, and I must say he's gonna try to do a better job in. Hopefully he goes really far this season. Hopefully past the merge this time. Don't want deja vu all over again. Okay, um, to be honest, salt's an S tier. I meant to say C tier, sorry. Salt for some reason, eh, I don't really care about her, but she isn't terrible. I don't really like when she stalks OJ, but that's the only thing that brings her down to me. That's it. Um, I'm also going to give Pepper S B C tier as well, just to keep them together. And really, Pepper just is doesn't do anything. Sure, she cares about Salt, but that's it. And I want to see more for her personality if she returns to like a like a newer season. Maybe they did they do a season four. Um, Bo, cool character. I like the I like the robot thing. So we actually, and I think it's really interesting to see that we have a um character who who's not who was claimed to be dead but she actually is alive well she isn't alive but she's made like a robot or something notice how she was much smaller than before plus the fact that that when when someone mentions something right about her past like marsh marshmallow or, or chairs and it must say it it's interesting for me. Bo is an interesting character. B tier, B tier is good. Um, Marshmallow, I must say, Marshmallow is going to be surpassing C tier just because I think her connection with Bo is really interesting, and I think she is a cool character. Not because no particular reason, just think the fact that that with something like that, we could possibly see more of that in the future, and I want to see more of that. So it's. Pretty cool to see that she has a connection with Bo and she cares about her. Apple, I'll also give her B tier just because I like Marsh Apple a lot and I think Apple is funny sometimes because they're dyslexic personality and I think it's really cool to see um, a character like her on the show. Uh, Paintbrush is good, I like him. Oh, them, sorry. Um, uh, They do... They are awesome. Uh, they they're an amazing group. Group I like Paintbrush X Light Bulb because it's a really good ship. And I must say the fact that that Paintbrush is a cool character himself and his rivalry with Silver Spoon is really cool as well. That's what I want to see. Um, Bomb barely gets screen time. I don't really have much to say about him. Just C tier. Um, test tube toilet. Uh. Cool character. I like his loud and obnoxious voice. Just so funny. And he's bringing some comedy to the show, which is like a comic relief to an Adam and Sandy. It's really entertaining. I want to see more of him. Um, Test Tube. Interesting character. I like her. A tier. First female in A tier just because, just because I like her personality. A smart contestant who does really well. I must say her... Season 3 runs going really well. To be honest, I think, and some of you might be upset about this, but I thought that her elimination by eliminating Cabby was actually a good idea. I didn't really like Cabby as a character, so it makes sense for her to um, get get a higher a higher ranking. And I think Hope that Test Tube does well later on in the game. Okay, no, no, no. Next character, Trophy, F tier. Definitely F tier. Knife's arch enemy, and you know him as a flying eagle. Yeah, flying eagles are are terrible in my universe, and I must say, Trophy is one exception that I don't really like. I mean, he causes a lot of trouble, and he even tried to to blackmail Knife in front in front of contestants. To be honest, I think that's terrible. Not a good character. F tier. 
Um, suitcase, B tier. I know I like Sudalu a lot, but I think there's been some times that she hasn't been really well put. I'm not saying that she's a terrible character. She's a really good one, but but not like top A or S tier, which isn't which is which kind of brings it down to me. Okay, fans awesome. S my my third S tier. Um now he's interesting. I like his geek personality, fan syntactic features, really cool show. Awesome. Adam and Sandy, I must say, did a really good job with that show. And I hope fan, even if getting eliminated early in season three, if there's possibly a rejoin, maybe he can come back. I don't know. Uh, microphone, to be honest, is, is a cool character. B tier as well. I don't think she's an A tier just because it's not, like, close enough. But I still think she's a cool character. I mean... I know she's been manipulated by Taco, but I think that's the only thing that brings me down for me. Because I want to see, even though she got eliminated in before the final four and after that, I think her sacrifice was actually something that was really good about the show and kind of helped her get rid of Taco herself. I mean, that's a good way to express it. Um, the cherries, they, I know they really didn't get much screen time, and I still, and I think both of them are really cute and stuff, but I don't think they're like, but the reason why I'm not putting them in, uh, A or B tier is because I didn't really see much of them. Um, C tier, just because I want to see more of them. And this could possibly lead to the cherries getting a higher ranking, just because I'm not saying that I hate the cherries or I really love them. Just putting them in the middle just because of that. Okay, um, Yin Yang. Awesome character. Uh, two sides. Whoever thought of that was an amazing person in the Anatomy and Sanity franchise. I mean, who could expect one character to sound a good guy but then an evil guy? I mean, that's clever. That part... Person deserves a serves a raise in my opinion. Great, great job. Um, on the other side of tr trophy, I think Soap is an S tier. Soap is just a cool character. I mean, I know I ship her with Dave, which is a kind of weird because I ship two characters from two different ser series. I know it's a little weird because I think I might be a little bit of a weirdo. I know Soap X trophy exists. It's on the media sometimes. I'm. I see it too. Um, still think it's an okay ship, but I feel like Soap should should break up a trophy just because we haven't seen much of them, so that kind of brings it down to me. I also think Soap's personality is really cool. I like, I think her germaphobic type side is really awesome, and I think she's a really cool character. Uh, cheesy, to be honest, B tier. I know his jokes are funny, but they're sometimes annoying. But I like comedy itself, so he still still gets like a B ranking because I don't want to rank him lower than that. Um, okay. Um, tissues we haven't seen much of. Um, C tier. I know it's not disgrace, but I don't really like his condition, which is kind of brings it down to me. Plus, his background is is green, which is kind of weird because he's blue. That's okay. Uh, I know many people like tissues, and I have no disgrace to that. It's just because I just think I want to see more of him. Um, Doe. Don't know much about Doe. I know he was just a contestant in an episode, but then he died. And then he was in the after. Well, he was a ghost actor, and I think that was kind of clever. But I still think he's a C tier just because I'd never seen much of him. So I know some people might like him too, so... Remember, all opinions are respected in this in this vid video, this tier list. This is just my my mind, okay? Okay, on the other side, Meepad is a cool co host. I think he's an A tier. I know what you're thinking. Why are you ranking Meephone lower than Meepad? Well, Meepad is awesome. He's nice to the contestants, and I think he's rather much better than the than Mephone himself. Mephone is just like a lazy, a lazy slob who just doesn't, who's just mean sometimes. 
That's why I'm ranking him a little lower, just because I think he needs more, just needs to be a better person. I do not like Hobbs. I'm sorry. I I mean, he's rude. I mean, I mean come on. To his own device? I mean, he's he's manipulative? I mean, who who wants this guy as, a, as their own boss? I know I haven't made him, but I'm just ranking him a little lower just because I think he just doesn't really hit me that well. Um, so I'm only going to go up to the, um, Invitational contestants because we haven't seen much of them of the uh, infinity contestants because we didn't we don't we don't know if that show actually exists So up to me to this to this other me phone right here Which is the one that sounds like the terminator I'm gonna rank it from there and then the rest are gonna are going to be are going to be um, unranked for now, so Let's get things started. Okay, definitely. I'm ranking life ring and nest here. I know his elimination was so early, but I want to see more of him so much. I mean, come on. I want to see more of this guy. Why is he lower? He's a fun guy. I want to see more of him. Plus, I think his lifeguard theme is pretty cool. Also, also Life Ring next heat kettle is amazing. No questions. Okay, Clover, in my opinion, after episode five, I'm going to give her B tier. Just because she's getting a little cautious of her luck. She's a cool character still. I don't think she's terrible. But I think she just needs to realize that, that her luck can be important sometimes. But sometimes it's going to be cursed, which I don't really know how to classify. So that's why I'm putting her in B tier, just because I don't think I want... I, I want to see her better herself. Um, um, not because he's terrible or anything. I'm just putting Blueberry in C tier just because we haven't seen much of him. He's just, but he's just like a, it's like a goth type figure. C tier, eh. Has a lot of characters who I don't really, we haven't seen much of. Okay, Silver Spoon, awesome. I don't, I know what you're thinking. He's like a villain. Why are you ranking him so high? I know what you're th thinking. Thinking. And to be honest, I can understand. He does act like a villain sometimes, but I still think his relationship with Candle is really awesome. And, and I think he's probably going to try to be a better character, in my opinion. I know he's elegant and obnoxious and, and, and thinks... This game is like a waste of time, but still, I think his idea of royal advisor seems pretty interesting. I want this guy to go f far. Okay, Cabby, I have problems with her a little bit. Who would write a files about contestants? That's dumb. Plus, I know fans still stuff from her cabinet, but I think he was just curious about it. Because Cabby's a storage cabinet and cabinets have stuff. And to be honest, Cabby's idea of of writing down who down everyone's personalities and stuff seems a little concerning in my opinion. Okay, um although I even though Cabby brings me down, Candle is definitely a cool character. I must say her positive energy and her Don type personality brings me brings me happiness sometimes. I think she's like a um, yoga instructor, and that's why I kind of extended that in uh, my own my own universe, which is kind of happy for me because Candle's awesome. And to be honest, I think a lot of people like her too. So you're definitely on the side with me. So hopefully she wins this seat. Hopefully she or Silver Spoon or, or Balloon or someone like that can win this season. And to be honest, Tea Kettle's an awesome character too. I like her motherly personality. Just reminds me of my own mother. And it's kind of happy because... Because 
I love this character so much, like my, like my mom herself. And I think her caring personality brings her, her joy to me. I mean, she's like a role mo model to some people. I mean, helping it, get, making food, like the, ob what were they called? Uh, can't even say it. Yeah, it was like a food item. And I think she, she, she does a good job with that. And, and hopefully she, she comes back later on this season to, to rejoin or something. If there is one, there probably isn't. But, but if there is, I'll be happy. Okay. Um, to be honest, Goo is a B tier. I, I know what you're thinking. He's. A lot of people love him, but to be honest, I think Goo is okay. He's he, his design's awesome, by the way. I think he's cute that way. He's he is cute in some ways, but I think I want to see. But I think putting him B tier is just a good thing because I don't want to give all the contestants like high tiers. And I think Goo is cool with Bo, but but I think that's it. His relationship with Clover is not not too bad either. But besides that, I still think B tier is a good rest for him. All right, so the last two, here's the last two. Um, to be honest, the floor doesn't really interest me. I, I know what, I know he's, he, a lot of people like him, but I still think the idea of a contestant that's just like an entire object, like an entire piece of land, doesn't really make me interested. No offense, floor. I just, I just think we want to see that I want, want you gone next just because I think you're getting a little creepy somehow no offense to anyone who likes him like I said before this is this is an entire tier list so all opinions are respected so finally we got this me phone right here I forgot his name and I know he's like a me phone and he sounds like the Terminator and to be honest I never saw the Terminator but I think his his voice is awesome. His personality reminds me of, of Terminator himself, which is kind of cool. And I think that's it. So this is your results for the uh, t tier list I have for now. It could possibly change while well, season three is going on. But possibly these, possibly these three will stay in the positions they are right now because, because, because Life Ring and Fan have been eliminated and Soap is, is not in season three. Same with Knife. He's not in season three either. But overall, still a good list. I must say I'm pretty happy with the results I have. So thank you so much for watching this uh, tier list video. This is our anime signing off. Peace.